Now, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, and to all of my viewers, I had my brother <clears throat> print these out, and once it's time, I'll line them up in the front. But I had my brothers do this because I love to demonstrate what the world been saying. And one of the thing about television, I can show you what the devil been talking about. First of all, viewers, if you are in a religion, in the church, have a pastor, minister, whatever you call him. And if he teach there's more than one God, he's a heathen. Not only he's a heathen, but he's a liar. <laughs> now, let us understand something. Satan was put out of heaven by God. And as a result of being cast out, he's been angry with the Lord ever since. Let us understand that this anger his objective is to get even with God. Pay God back. I want to say to my two brothers that are seated in the front, I'm going to ask you brothers to take your chairs and go to the side. Take your chairs with you. Let's go to the side and get out the way because I need to utilize this whole front when it's time. Satan's objective is to get even with God. Now, to get even with God, he have a mission. Belittle him. Try to diminish his greatness. To cause people not to believe that God is what he say he is. The best way that Satan can do this <clears throat> is to start religions get people who say they love God get so called preachers who profess to know God but in works deny him now to my viewers that are watching The doctrine of Trinitarian belief never at no time did any Bible prophet, did any Bible apostle describe God as three persons working together in unity. Let me say it again. Nowhere in the Bible where any messenger of God called God three persons working together in unity. All of the prophets in the Old Testament recognize God as one. Jesus, who was the manifestation of God in flesh, even that flesh recognized the spirit as one. The apostles who were sent out after his resurrection recognize God as one. None of them use the language to describe God the way religion do today. 
the Trinitarian theory that God is the first person and Jesus is the second person in the Godhead and the Holy Ghost is the third person in the Godhead did not come from Jerusalem where the church started. It came from Rome, Italy. Amongst those who was not divinely inspired of God, so therefore when they were not inspired of God, they had to seek for answers. Couldn't understand how God can be in heaven and be in the river of Jordan. And then the Holy Ghost come in a bodily shape of a dove. Couldn't understand how Jesus can be on earth and say, Father. They couldn't quite figure that out. Now you have the Jehovah Witnesses. We don't know who Jehovah is. Been peddling a two God religion for many, 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 many years. Jehovah Witnesses teach that Jehovah is a God and Jesus is a God. Two of them. So all down through history, Satan has sent men <clears throat> to try to diminish God's greatness. To try to belittle God's authority. Try to belittle God's power. Now, I want to show you what kind of messengers. Viewers, I want you to listen good and look at the church you're in. And look at your apostle, your elder, your bishop, your prophet or pastor or evangelist. And see, is he a messenger of Baal or a messenger of God? All satanic men will preach there's more than one God. A true representative of God will never preach there's more than one God. And a true messenger will never try to call or pray to more than one God. First, let's lay the foundation in the book of Kings. First and first Kings chapter 18. I want everybody to take, I want to take my time. And I want you to follow me, all Trinitarians in the world. I don't care what color you are. All Trinitarians in the world. You can bring me the Hebrew expression Elohim. We're going to deal with that. Let us begin in the book of Kings. Follow me. First Kings chapter 18 and we're starting at verse 19. Now therefore sin and gather to me all Israel unto Mount Carmel and the prophets of Baal 450. Now, the prophets of who? Yeah. Prophets of Baal. The prophets of Baal is the prophets of Satan. A prophet is a messenger. Satan have messengers. God have messengers follow me give chapter and verse again we're at first kings chapter 18 and at verse 19 now therefore sin and gather to me all israel unto mount carmel uh -huh. and the prophets of baal 450 yes and the prophets of the groves 400 wait a minute huh. that's a total of 850 that's right most people didn't see the prophets of the groves prophets of the groves the prophets of imagery they always focus on the prophets of Baal. Right. Baal prophets was how many? 450. 450. It was two sets. Yeah. 
two sets. And the province of Baal, 450. It was two sets of unbelievers. Most just looked at Baal prophets. No. They're not looking at those that wish up the grove or the image or the idols. And the prophets of the groves. The 400, prophets of the groves was 400. Which eat at Jezebel's table. They ate at Jezebel's table. So Ahab sent unto all the children of Israel and gathered the prophets together unto Mount Carmel. Yes. And Elijah came unto all the people. Elijah, one man. Glory to God. One believer. One representative. Baal had 450 representatives. The idler, the idol had 400 representatives. That's right. But the ones that worshiped the idol was also Baal worshippers. Because when you worship any other God other than the God of heaven, you are bell worshippers. A total of 850 false prophets. 850 representatives of Satan against one representative of God. Listen. And, and Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long halt ye between two opinions? Listen, viewers. Mm. Glory to God. How long halt ye? Are you undecided? Between two opinions. Why can't you make up your mind? That's right. What is it, son? If the Lord be God, that's the doctrine of the truth of God. Yeah. That's right. If the Lord be, be God. Follow him. <clears throat> if the Lord be God. Follow him. Follow him. Him. He's giving you a choice. That's right. If the Lord be God, follow him. All right. But if Baal, if Baal, then follow him, then follow him. And the people answered him not a word. Now, he gave them the opportunity to choose. So Baal prophets come together and construct an altar and begin to call on Baal. That's right. But Elijah addressed at them. That's right. Listen. In the book of 1 Kings 18, we're at verse 23. Follow me. Let them therefore give us two bullocks. Let's give two, two bullocks. And let them choose one bullock for choose themselves. Choose one for themselves. And cut it in pieces. Cut it up. And lay it on wood and put no mm -hmm. fire under. And I will dress the other bullock and lay it on wood and put no fire under. I want to show you the two, one group versus one man. I want you to pay attention to the language of the Bible. Mm -hmm. Who the false prophets was told to call on. That's right. And who did the prophet of God say he will call on. That's right. Listen good. First Kings chapter 18, right verse 24. All right. And call ye on the name of your gods. Elijah talking to the servants of Baal. That's right. Call ye on the name, on the name of your gods. You see, if you have God's viewers, you are one of Baal followers. That's right. If your preacher is teaching you there's more than one God, you have a representative of Baal. That's right. Do you see what I'm telling you? If your preacher preached two gods, three gods, four gods, five gods, it doesn't matter of the number. If that number exceeds the number one. That's right. If that number exceeds the number one, then you have a messenger of Baal. So I'm, by God's permission, 
saying to the world like the prophet said then and call ye on the name of your gods call on the name of your gods and i and i will call on the name will call on the name of the lord of the lord the lord and the god and the God that answereth by that fire. Answer by fire. Let him. Let them. Let him. Let them. Let him. Let him be God. Be God. That's right. Now. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Listen good, viewers. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Brothers, line these up across the front. I want to demonstrate this and show you the religious. Some of you brothers, help them, please. Bring that one to the far right. I want to make sure you got them in the order that I want. Pay attention. Just, just a minute. Just a minute. Put that on the end where Brother Rick is. Rick, you put that right here. Leave that right there. Back it up. Bring the dove. Come on, bring that. Move that over, center it. Bring that over here. Slide this back. And put that here. Bring, right there. The center right there. Move them in close. Move them in close. Right there, good. Want to fall back some? All right, fall on back. Glory to God. All right. I'm sorry my brothers in the pulpit can't see this, but I catch you on the rebound. Now, viewers, propaganda. The teaching of the Trinity start with the Catholic Church. And they were so determined to sell this propaganda. Artwork was a major factor to converting the ignorant and to the belief of a lie. According to the Catholic Church, you see this old man with the beard? That's supposed to be God. You can go into any cathedral of the Catholic Church. Paintings on the ceiling, paintings on the wall, paintings uh, inside of the glass. Satan was so determined to sell this lie, he put these image of pictures in your Bibles. Didn't it up? He put it in your Bibles to sell a Trinitarian lie. This old man supposed to be the father, God. This little pudgy baby supposed to be the son, Jesus. And that's supposed to be Mary. This bird, this dove, supposed to be the representation of the Holy Ghost. And the reason why they use a dove, because the Bible said the Holy Ghost came in a bodily shape of a dove, dealing with Jonathan River Jordan and lighting upon him. So, uh, Brother L, don't sit in the aisle. Brother Lamar, don't sit in the aisle. Get out the aisle, brother. Don't sit in the aisle at all. Now, this propaganda, and people will actually look at it and say, this is God. This is Jesus. And this is the Holy Ghost. Now, here is a picture that's supposed to be the Trinity all together. This is supposed to be God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. And they say these three are one. Are you listening? This is on your stained windows. Many have this in their home. 
You have it on your job. Religious propaganda is not something that's only preached. But to sell this foolishness for years, artwork played a major role because most people believe what they see. Why did the Trinitarian teacher become so successful? When a lie been told for years, 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 you have a tendency to believe it's the truth. A lie is more effective when you're talking to the masses of ignorant folk. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? When the people are not scripturally educated, when the people have no knowledge of scripture, they will look at pictures and images, kiss them, do the sign of the cross to them. When they're in trouble, they turn to the picture, Father, help me. Now, God said in Exodus, Exodus chapter 20, and we're starting in verse 1. Listen. And God spake all these words. God said. I am the Lord. God speak. Right. Now, this is not God. No. I want you to hear. Hear. I'm so glad to be able to demonstrate this because this campus used to be the campus of a Catholic church. And we tore down all the idols. And we had a good time doing it. We was tearing up idols, throwing them in trash, throwing them in dumpsters. Here we are. The Bible says, and God spake and all God these words. Speak. This is not God. So then, if this is not God, who is it? Who is that fella? Because the Bible don't describe God to look like this. Who is this little baby? Naked. Because the Bible don't describe Jesus looking like this. The Bible never said the Holy Ghost is a dove. Did you hear what I said? I said the Bible never said the Holy Ghost is a dove. No. The Bible told us what happened down there in Jordan. In the book of Matthew, chapter Says what? 3. And Come on, son. Matthew 3 and at verse 13. Says what? Then cometh Jesus from Galilee to Jordan unto John to be yes. baptized of him. But John forbade him, saying, I need to be baptized of thee. I need to be baptized of thee. And comest thou to me. What happened? And Jesus, when he was baptized, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water. Then what? And lo, the heavens were opened the unto him. The heavens were opened. And he saw the Spirit of God. He saw the Spirit of God descending, descending like a dove. Like a dove. It didn't say it was a dove. That's right. Like a dove. He descended like a dove. And lighting upon him. Like a dove. Like. The Holy Ghost descended like a dove. Like. The Bible didn't say the Holy Ghost is a dove. Right. Why did not the Bible say the Holy Ghost is a dove? Because a dove is a creature. And the Bible said God made every creature after its own kind. That's and right. a dove is created. But the Holy Ghost is not created because the Holy Ghost is God. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Religious propaganda. All right, you Trinitarians. You said these three are one. You said this is God the Father and this is God the Son and you call this bird God number three. Right. <laughs> now, all right, let's put them back over there. Come on, let's put them back over there. 
It's time to do some biblical surgery. I want to take my time and soak you a little. That's right. Just put them over there in the corner. Just, they be there, all right. Just put them in the corner. All right. Now, there is nowhere in the Bible right. where God is addressed as Trinity. Whenever God wants us to know who he is, he told us plain. plain. That's right. He said, I am. Right. And when he talked to Abraham, I am the almighty God. Walk before me and be thine perfect. He talks to Moses. Moses asks, who shall I say send me? I am that I am. Not even God addressed himself as being a person. That's right. God is a spirit. Now, I first want to debunk the label that you put on God as being a person because when you read the scripture, a person always point to human. God is a spirit. Give chapter and verse. In St. John chapter and 4. And then let's get Hebrews chapter 1. Right. And verse 3, right. I want to take my time and just, you know, old country folk will sit on the porch and get that stick and start out thick. But he'll whittle it down. Right. We want to break the scriptures down. That's right. I want Hebrews 1, 3. Mm -hmm. Then I want Matthew 28, 19. Right. Then I want fifth chapter of first epistle of John. Mm -hmm. These are the scriptures that the Trinitarians use. Right. And then I want Genesis 1 26. That's right. I want you to follow me. First in St. John chapter 4 and at verse 24. All right. God is a spirit. No, God is a person. God is a spirit. Somebody's lying and it ain't God. That's right. God is a spirit and, and they that worship him. They that wait, 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 wait. Now, viewers <coughs> that are Trinitarians. If there are three persons in the Godhead, which one should we wish out? That's right. That's right. Which one That's right. should we wish out? Ye worship, ye know not what. Do you hear what Jesus said? In St. John chapter 4 and at verse 22. Ye worship, ye, ye worship, know not what. You don't know what you're doing. We know what we worship. We know what we wish up for. Salvation is of the Jews. Why? But the hour cometh. And? Now is. When what? When the true worshipers. What should the true worshipers do? Shall worship the Father. Shall worship who? The Father. Shall worship who? The Father. How? In spirit. What else? And in truth. Who wants it? For the Father seeketh such to worship him. What is God? God is a spirit. How do he want to be worshipped? And they that worship him. Worship them. Him. Them. Him. How? Must worship him. Must worship singular. Him. Him in spirit, in spirit, and in truth. That's right. Must. He said, must do. Must. must. Now, before you get to other scriptures, <laughs> Jesus was on the mountain of transfiguration. Right. He saw that man would try to recognize three. Glory to God. The Lord knew that men would try to recognize and honor three. That's right. So he left a perfect example here. In the book of St. Matthew chapter 17. I, I want you that worshiping and looking at three persons. Three persons. Now, I'm going to show you in the Bible where your spirit is. And how the Holy Ghost correct those who want to recognize three. That's right. Listen. In the book of St. Matthew chapter 17, we'll start at verse 1. All right. And after six days, Jesus taketh Peter, James, and John, his brother. Yes. And bringeth them up 
into a high mountain apart uh -huh. and was transfigured before them. Yeah, and and transfigured. His, uh, the power of God put him in the spirit. That's right. Uh -huh. And his face did shine as the sun. Thank God, man, uh, the, uh, the eternal Holy Ghost got a hold of Jesus and Jesus was put in the spirit by the power of the spirit and he illuminated. He was shining. And his face did Listen shine as the sun. His face was shining like the sun. And his raiment was white. His I raiment was bright as the light. Glory to God as the light. And behold, there appeared unto them Moses and Elias talking with him. Wait. Moses and Elias. And Elias talking with him. Hold it right there. Moses was already dead. And the Lord buried him. The prophet Elias was already translated. That he should not see death. Jesus had not died yet. Moses, Elias, Elias. Jesus. Now, Moses and Elijah that appeared was the spirit of the person. The person Moses wasn't there. And the person Elijah wasn't there, but the spirit of the person was there. That's right. The only person that was there was Jesus, Jesus. who was in the spirit. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Let me say it again. Right. Moses was already dead and the Lord buried him. Elijah was already translated. So the physical body wasn't there. Because Moses was dead, but the spirit of Moses and the spirit of Elijah was there. And the only person of flesh that was there was the Messiah, Christ Jesus, the son of the living God. Are you listening? Listen. And behold, there appeared unto them Moses and Elias talking with him. Yeah. Then answered Peter. Uh-oh. Then answer Peter. And said unto Jesus. What? Lord it is good for us to be here. Lord we're, we're, we're glad to be here Lord. If thou wilt. If it be your will. Let us make here three tabernacles. Hallelujah. Let us make how many? Three tabernacles. Let us recognize three. Three. Even at one point. The apostles. Wanted to recognize three. three. Honor three. That's right. Glory to God. I hope you can give this. If thou will. What was this written for? Our learning. That's right. God allowed this to happen. That's right. So he can correct man. Yeah. And redirect man's thinking. Yeah. He wanted to redirect man's thinking. That's right. So here you have the apostles. That's right. Want to recognize three. three. They knew Moses was great. They knew Elijah was great. And they knew the teacher, the master teacher, he was the greatest of them all. Listen. Let us make here three tabernacles. One for thee. One for you. And one for Moses. One for Moses. And one for Elias. And one for Elijah. While he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed him. Wow. He was putting this out. <laughs> That's right. Glory to God. A bright cloud Glory overshadowed them. God overshadowed them. And behold, a voice, a voice out of the cloud spoke from the cloud. Which said, this, this is my beloved son. This is the one. This is my beloved son. This is the one. In whom I am well pleased. I want you to look at this one. Hear ye him. Hear ye them. Hear ye him. Hear ye them. Hear ye him. Hear ye him. Hear ye him. And when the disciples heard it, when the disciples heard it, they fell on their faces and were sore afraid. And they were sore afraid. And Jesus came and touched them and said, Arise and be not afraid. Don't be afraid. And when they had lifted up their eyes, what did they see? They saw no man. They saw no man. Save Jesus only. We should only worship the Christ alone. That's right. That's right. That's right. Only one. Jesus only. So even the Holy Ghost, the everlasting God, got rid of that kernel That's concept. That's right. He denounced it. That's right. He spoke against it. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. The power of God 
spoke from heaven. That's right. The manifestation of Elohim was made. That's right. Voice. Elohim spoke. Elohim was standing up in that body and Elohim illuminated the body of the Son of Man. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. And pointed everything Jesus only. To Jesus. Jesus only. This is my beloved Son. In whom I am well pleased. What shall we do? Hear ye him. And when they looked up, they saw no man saved. Save Jesus only. Jesus only. Jesus only. Amen. Amen. That's, that's what we are. We're Jesus only. That's right. Huh? That's right. We're Jesus only. That's right. Now, Matthew 28, 19. Mm -hmm. And then first epistle of John chapter 5. That's right. Viewers, again I said, when I was in Johannesburg, South Africa last month. God gave us a mighty victory. In two days, we baptized 192 souls. In the name of Jesus Christ, so many men and women came to me and said they believed in three gods all their life until they saw the truth of God's message. Now they know that it's one and Jesus Christ is he. Viewers, You've been told there are three persons right. in the Godhead right. you've been lied to. Oh, yes. We're going we to itemize this and I'm going to show you why you've been lied to. That's right. All right. Matthew chapter 28 and at verse 19. Listen. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Yes. Baptizing them in the name of the Father uh -huh. and of the Son uh -huh. and of the Holy Ghost. You said that's the Trinity. And you said that's three persons. Right. Look how you lie. Right. Listen to what the Bible says. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father. Who? In the name of the Father. Let's find out who is the Father. Give me Malachi. Malachi chapter 2. And at verse 10. I want to take it section by section. That's right. Piece by piece. Yes. Malachi chapter 2 and verse 10. Have we not all one father? Have we not all three persons that make up one father? Have we not all one father? Have we not all three persons that make up one father? Have we not all one father? The Bible is talking here. Have we not oh, all? The, the prophets are testifying here. Right. And you bear in mind the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. That's right. Have we not all one father? Hath not one God. What? Hath not one God created us. Wait a minute. How many made us? One God created us. Now you Trinitarians, you quote Genesis 1.26. Let us make man in our image after our likeness. And you said God was talking to his son Jesus and talking to the third person, the Holy Ghost. And all three collaborated together to make Adam. That's right. That's right. Because being scripturally illiterate, you thought us would mean more than one God. That's right. But he just read how many made us. Have we not all one father? That include Adam. That's right. All one you better father. Not tell me Adam had more than one father. That's right. I was talking to a fella uh, out of Chicago who supposedly came to Milwaukee, Wisconsin's. He called me up and said he wanted to bait me hey, on, on Jesus Christ being God. I said, don't do it. I said, don't do it. Watch the tele I said, watch the telecast some more. He said, but I know the Bible. I said, I'm very happy for you, but don't come. Don't come and do it. I told him, don't do this to yourself. He went as far as telling me there's two fathers. Lord. He said, God is a father. Jesus is a father. I said, how many saviors we got? He said, we got two saviors. Jesus is a savior and God is a savior. I said, all right, then uh, who is Christ? He said, Christ is the last name of Jesus. This is what happened when you get bad revelation. Bad revelation accompanied with bad teaching. The Bible speaks plain. Have we not all one father? One. Hath not one, one God? One, one. Oh, we take God and we are in these last days. We got to make this one strong. Even David got one stone. 
One. He may have gathered more than one, but to do the job, he got one. One smooth stone loaded in the sling. Why was the stone smooth? Because the one stone represents one God. Being a smooth stone means the stone had no flaws, showing you that the one God is flawless. And in the midst of him being flawless, that one God has the power to bring down the head of everything. Are you listening? Now, you said the Father is the first person in the Godhead. And this is your scripture that you use, Hebrews 1 and 3. Hebrews chapter 1 and at verse 3. Follow me, I want to soak you a little. We want to take our time and educate you three-person folk. That's right. Uh -huh. You three-person folk. You, 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 you preach it. You sing it. Holy, holy, holy. Lord God Almighty. God in three persons. Blessed Trinity. You know when the choir was singing last night and it sounded good. And then when they got to that part, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. Oh, they changed the words totally. They, got, they had to throw that lie out. <laughs> I remember my son came to me. He said, we, we got to change that. I said, well, when you change it, I don't even want it to sound like the word Trinity. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And when, it, when they change it, it came out all right. All right. Yeah. Let you know that God is our Savior. That's right. Yeah. That's right. All right, I want you Trinitarian fakers to get this. Yes, I'm talking to your pastor. I'm talking to your priest. I'm talking to your pope. I'm talking to all of you that have been sold on the Trinitary lie. That's right. Listen. Hebrews chapter 1 and at verse 3. Follow me. Who being the brightness of his glory. Now, begin at verse 1. At verse 1. God in sun dry time. And in divers manner speaking time past unto Hold the it. fathers. God in sun dry times. And in divers manners, many manners, many ways, did what? Spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophet. And hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son. Now, spoken to us by his son, spoken to us by Jesus Christ. That's right. Uh -huh. Whom he hath appointed heir of all things. Now, he appointed Jesus to be heir of all things. Holy, he inherited God's name. He inherited God's authority. He inherited God's power until the Son of Man declared all things the Father have are mine. He inherited God's name. He obtained a more excellent name than the angels. The Bible said all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. He, in hallelujah. he inherited. He inherited his power when he laid hands on you. Eyes come open. He inherited his power. He walked on water. He inherited his power. The eyes of the blind came open. Did you hear what he said? Whom he hath appointed heir of Whom all he things. he hath appointed heir of everything. By whom also he made the world. By whom also he made the world. Who being the brightness of his glory. Still talking about the son of man. The son of man was the brightness. Of his glory. Of God's glory. He was the clear manifestation of God. He was the express image of God. That's right. Listen. Who being the brightness of his glory. The brightness of his glory. And the express image the of. The express image. Of his person. Now you out of ignorance said. That meant God was the person. It was not. No. The son of God was the express image. And this is the word you overlook. His. His. His person. His person. Now the question is. Who is God's person? That's right. Who is God's person? That's it. His, His person. His person. There's a person that's being owned. That's right. His, His person. Means the person belongs to God. That's right. Give me John. St. John chapter 3. 316. And God verse 16, so loved the world. That he gave his. That he gave his. His only begotten son. His what? His only begotten son. His son was his person. His person. His person was his sacrifice. That's right. His sacrifice was his son. That's right. His son was his offering. That's right. His offering was the mediator. The mediator was that body. That body. 
body was the Lamb of God. God, the everlasting Father, was in the person. God came in the person of Christ Jesus. That's right. God was not the person. The Son of God was the person. God was in the person. And the Holy Ghost filled the person. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says Jesus of Nazareth was filled with the Holy, with the Holy Ghost. Ghost. Now you Trinitarians says that the Holy Ghost is the third person. Liar! Go back to Matthew 28, 19. Back to Matthew chapter 28, 19. Go Matthew 28, 19 says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Teach. Teach. All nations. Baptize them. Baptizing them in the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. And of the Holy Ghost. Father, Son, Holy Ghost. You say that's three persons. What you fail to realize, Father and Holy Ghost are the same. Let's look at the compound word. Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost. Holy Ghost. A compound word. Two words. Holy is the characteristics of God. Ghost, which is spirit, is the nature of God. So, if Jesus of Nazareth was filled with the Holy Ghost, you're going to tell me he was filled with the person? The Bible says in the second chapter of Acts, and on the day of Pentecost, when the day of Pentecost was fully come, there was all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from suddenly heaven. Suddenly there came a sound. No, there came a person from heaven. There came a sound from heaven. No, a person from heaven. A sound from heaven. As a rush of mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues, tongues like, as, like a fire. as a fire. And it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the person. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. They were all filled with the Holy Person. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. They were all filled with the Holy Person. They were all filled with the Holy Ghost. There is nowhere. Nowhere. Hallelujah. In the history of the Bible. Where the Holy Ghost is called person. a person. person. No way. It was the Holy Ghost that moved upon the face of the deep. That's right. Not a person. That's right. The prophets was filled and was dealt with and moved upon by the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Not moved by a person. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. So, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Three titles. But only one out of the three titles is a person. The one that's the person is son. The son is called man child. The son have a mother. That's right. The son come through 42 generations. The son is the offspring of David. The son come out the tribe of Judah. The son come from the generations of Shem. The son was the only begotten of the father. The son was not begotten by another person. Are you listening? That's right. You added three persons. That's right. The Bible ain't never said three persons, three persons. in the Godhead. You yeah. added that line. That's right. First epistle of John. First epistle of John, chapter five. Chapter five. And we're at verse seven. Verse seven. For there are three that bear record in heaven. No, there are three persons in heaven. There are three that bear record in heaven. We're going to strip this apart, sentence by sentence. Right. Precept upon precept. That's right. Each sentence is a line. Yeah. So we got to strip it line upon line. Yeah. Line upon line. Yeah. Here a little and there a little. That's right. All right, listen. For there are three that bear record in heaven. Hold it. Three. The term record 
means something's recorded. The term record, there's a record in heaven. There's something recorded in heaven. Listen. For there are three that bear record in heaven. It didn't say there's three persons there. Three that bear record. It says there's three that bear record. There's a record. There's something recorded. Recorded. It didn't say three persons. Bear record there's in heaven. something recorded that's bear record. That's right. What is it? The Father. That's God. The Father is God. The Father. What else? The Word. Hold it. The Word. That's God. That's God. Let's deal with the word. St. John chapter 1, we're starting at verse 1. Listen, now, you says, when you see the word, you say that's talking about the flesh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what it said? That's talking about flesh and blood. Right. The word is the action of God. The word is the speech of God. For Jesus said, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. God make everything come to being by the spoken power of his word. He speaks that which did not exist into existence. Listen. St. John chapter 1, we're at verse 1. What is it? In the beginning was the word. In the beginning was God. That's right. That's right. That's right. And the beginning began with the speech of God. That's right. Are you listening? God used words to introduce time. Right. God used words to introduce light. God used words to separate, separate light from darkness. God used words to make the sun, make the moon, make the stars, make man, make the fowls of the air, the beasts of the field, the fish in the water, and the hosts of heaven. That's right. He used words. That's right. All right. In the beginning was the word. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. The word was with God. It doesn't mean there's a little God with the big God. No. The word was with God. With God. And the word was God. He's telling you there's none with him. That's right. If the word was with God and the same thing that was with him is him. That's right. He didn't say it was another one with him. Mm -mm. Now, let's balance out the word was with them with to debunk somebody else being with them. In Deuteronomy chapter 32 and at I, verse 39. I want to focus on the language of the Bible. Every chess move that the Trinitarians try to make, I'm going to checkmate you. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. I'm going to checkmate you. That's right. Hey Amen. We got all kings on the board. That's right. Glory to God. Got all kings on the board. That's right. All right. Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 39. You that say the word was with God mean there was another God with him. You's a lie out of hell. Amen. You remember when you explain scripture, you can't have scripture contradict scripture right. or overlapping scripture. You got to have scripture harmonizing with scripture. That's right. Uh -huh. Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 39. That's what? See now that I. God talking. See now that I, even I am he. And there is no God with me. But the word is with him. And the word was with God. But what's with him? And there was no God with me. But the word is with him. And the word was with God. But what's with him? And there is no God with me. So that can't mean that there was a little God with a big God. No. no. Not at all. There is no God with me. There is no God with me. With but what me. do this one God do in Deuteronomy? I kill. I, How many? I, I, I kill. I kill. And I make I. alive. If you want to live, yeah. I'll make you live. Yeah. I wound. I. If you want pain, I, I can do that too. Yeah. And I heal. If you want deliverance from the pain that I put on you, I can do that too. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Everything points to singular. That's right. Three that bear record in heaven. Father. That's God. God the, is the Father. First Father is the originator of all things. The Word. Word. That's God. Now because God brings things that did not exist into being by the spoken power of his word. And then at the appointed time the word was made flesh. Let's explain that. Yeah. Let's explain that term. Yes. In St. John 1.14. The John Word 1:14. was made flesh. And the Word was made flesh. Now. The Bible already established God is the word. Yeah. the word. But God is not made. No. That's right. God always was. Always. But yet the Bible said the word was, was made, made flesh. flesh. 
That don't mean God was made flesh. Right. That means flesh was made by the creating power of his spoken word. That's right. When did God use word to make flesh? flesh. He put his word in the prophets. That's right. His spoken word came from heaven and got in the mouths of the prophets. And they spoke about the coming of the flesh that God will manifest himself in. That's right. On us, child is born, son is given, government shall be upon his shoulder, name shall be called wonderful, counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting father, the prince of peace, of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet until Shiloh come. And unto him, not unto them, right. <clears throat> but unto him shall the gathering of the people be, binding his foe to the vine and his ass's coat to the choice vine. He washed his garment in wine and his clothes in the blood of grapes. Amen. Bible always talking about one. one. Are you listening? And the word was made flesh. And what did it do? And dwelt among us. That flesh that the word made dwelt among the human family. Right. And the flesh that the word made was the son of God, Christ Jesus. That's right. And God, the power of the word, was in that flesh. That's right. That's why Paul said, without controversy. In other words, stop arguing. Stop arguing. Ain't no use talking. That's right. God was manifested. When a thing is manifested, seen, heard. You can hear the sound of it. God was manifested in the flesh, meaning he worked in it. The flesh was a veil. Eh? That's what the Bible said. His flesh was a veil. Hebrews chapter 10. Says what? And at verse 20. All right. By a new and living way. By a new. He, he had a new way for man to live. That's right. He wanted man to get rid of the old man. So he, by a new and living way. Which he has consecrated which he for has us. Consecrated. For us. For us. Through the veil. Through the veil. That is to say, his flesh. His veil is what? His flesh. You hide under a veil. That's right. I say you hide. Under a veil. Isaiah chapter 45 and Isaiah verse 15. 45, 15 says, Ver Verily, Verily, Thou art a God. Thou art a God that hideth thyself. That hide yeah. thyself. O oh God of Israel, the Savior. He hid himself. That's right. In a veil. In a veil. In flesh. That's right. In a body. Yeah. In the Son. Yeah. In the man. Yeah. In the Son of David. That's right. He hid himself. That's right. You him. couldn't see God. No. Someone said, well, wait a minute, Pastor Janus. What do you mean you couldn't see God? No. Jesus said, if you see me, yeah. you see the Father. See the Father. Yeah. One preacher said, when he quote the scripture, when you see me, you see the Father. He said, when you looked at Jesus, it shows you the way the Father looked. No, it don't. No. no. Philip saith unto him, Lord. No, it don't. No. Jesus was a Jew. That's right. The father is of no nationality. Jesus had a bloodline. The spirit have no relatives. Jesus had a certain height. The father said, I'm higher than heaven. Deeper than hell. Broader than the sea. And longer than the earth. Jesus of Nazareth, that sacrifice had to grow from a baby to a man. The nature that was God was the spirit in that body and God don't grow. That's right. That's right. There are three that bear record. For there are three that bear record in, in heaven. heaven. The Father. That's God. The Word. That's God. And the Holy Ghost. That's God. And these three are one. Wait a minute. These three are three persons that work in one. And these three are one. Now, let's look at the different operations. Right. These three. Three. Three operations. Father, 
Word, Holy Ghost. Father, Creator. Word, Speech. Holy Ghost, Comforter, Keeper, Protector. Right. Now, the Apostle Paul itemized the operation of God. That's right. In 1 Corinthians chapter 12. I want you to follow me. This is the expression of the Hebrew term Elohim. Right. Elohim talks about God, but Elohim means plural. That's right. And every Trinitarian always runs under the, to the word Elohim. That's right. Elohim means plural. Elohim. That's right. Elohim means plural. That's right. That's right. Elohim does mean plural. But now I have to go to the Bible and show us how God is plural right. and how he functioned in a plurality manner right. and yet still is one. That's true. Follow me. In the book of 1 Corinthians. Follow me. Follow me. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and we're at verse 6. I first want to work on the operations of God. Right. Listen. 1 Corinthians 12 and we're at verse 6. All right. And there are diversities of, of, of operations. There are diversities. <laughs> of operations. Many functions. Mm -hmm. Many operations. But. But. It is the same God. No, it's not. It is the same God. No, it's not. It is the same God. No, it, no, it's three persons. It is the same God. It's three persons working together. It is the same God which works. Many operations, but it's the same God. Which how, work, how much work he do? Which worketh all. He, he work all. In all. In all. That's right. Many operations. Diversities. Elohim. Many Functions. That's right. Many ways of doing things. That's right. That's right. Mm, mm, mm. He's a healer. He's a keeper. He's a redeemer. He's a provider. He's a teacher. Right. He's a preacher. He is the anointing. That's right. He is the comforter. That's right. Diversity. Diversities. Diversities. Of operations. Of operations. Diversity of functions. Now, Trinitarians, if you would have said Father, Son, and Holy Ghost are three functions, yeah. you would have been right. If you would have said Father, Son, and Holy Ghost are three operations, you would have been right. right. If you would have said Father, Son, and Holy Ghost are three titles, you would have been right. Yeah. But because the devil stood up in you so boldly, Told a bold faced lie. Yeah. And said, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost is three persons. Yeah. You lied. You lied. That's right. You plainly lied. And there are diversities of operations. Diversity. Diversities. Of operation. But it is the same God. Here it is the same God. Which have, it, have it raining in one place. Same time, snowing in another place. Same time. A whirlwind right. in another place. Yeah. Same time, earthquake in another place. Same time, peace in another place. Right. All these operations. It is the same God. Same God. Which worketh. Same God. Same, same, same God. God. Wonderful. Manifest himself in the body of Christ Jesus, the Son of God. And still in heaven. And talk from heaven. Operating. Operations. Letting you know there is no limitations to God. That's right. Diversities of operations. Diversities. Diversities of operations. Diversity. Many. Many. Many funny. Di different functions. Mm. Different functions. Functions, yeah. right. but by who? But it is the same God. Same G O D S. Same G O D. Elias. That's right. Elias. Same G O D. Which, same one. Which worketh all in all. He worked where? All in all. He worked where? But which worketh all in all. He said, "I'm the same yesterday." Same. Same. What were you yesterday, Lord? I turned Aaron Rod, made it bud. Yeah. Yeah. 
turn into a serpent to eat all other serpents. By day, I got in the clouds to lead Israel. By night, pillar of fire. Amen. I stood up in Moses. And Moses was like a god unto Pharaoh. <laughs> That's right. All type of diverse things. That's right. Hey Amen. I separated the water for my people. Yeah. Huh? That's right. Hallelujah. Glory Diversities of operations. Diversity. Of operations. I stood before Job as a whirlwind and I questioned him. Where were you? Right. When I laid the foundations of the earth, that's right. I hung the earth on nothing. I spread abroad the north over an empty place. That's right. I laid the chambers in the water and gave the sea her decree. That's right. Many operations. And the about. prophet saw me. I was walking on the wings of the wind. Go ahead. And I spread the curses of heaven. Diversities and of operations. Diversity hallelujah. of operations. Of operations. But it is the same God. Who is it? The same God. Who is it? The same God. Same God. Who is it that made the heaven? Same God. Who is it that made the earth? Same God. Who is it that made the moon? Same God. Who is it that made Adam? Same God. Who is it that stood in the Son of God? Same God. Who is it that started the church of Same God. Pentecost? Same God. Same God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Same God. Same God which worketh all in all. Who is it that said I suffer not a woman to preach, nor not to teach, nor to use of authority over the man with being silent? Same God. Who is it that said through Peter, repent and be baptized every one in the name of Jesus Christ? Same God. Who is it that started the church on the day of Pentecost? Same God. Who is it that said these signs shall follow them that believe? Same God. Hallelujah. 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 All right. Diversities of operations. Pastor. Hallelujah. You understand? Hallelujah. Diversities of operations. Who is it that said first in the church apostles? Same God. Second daily prophets. Same God. Daily teachers. Same God. Pastors. Same God. Help. Same God. Evangelists. Same God. Miracles. Same God. Hallelujah. 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 It's not God is all powerful, all knowing. He don't need no help. In fact, the Bible said when I looked, there was none to help. When I wanted, there was none to uphold. But with my own arm, I brought salvation. Same God. Not another. Hallelujah. Same God. Hallelujah. The God of Abraham. Same God. Jesus said, before Abraham was, I am. I am. I am. Hallelujah. He told Moses, I am that I am. That I am. Who was that? Same God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Are you listening? Hallelujah. And there are diversities of operations. Many. Hallelujah. Many operations. So, Elohim, plural, yes. But God, singular. That's right. Diverse works, many works by same God. Same now, God. another function of Elohim where it's pluralized is his shape. That's right. His form. That's right. His fashion. In the book of Hosea. Give me the book of Hosea. Chapter 12. Focus closely on the language of the Bible. Hosea chapter 12 and we're at verse 10. Hosea 12 and 10. I have also spoken by the prophets. I also spoken by the prophets. And I have multiplied visions. Hold it. I multiplied. I didn't give you one vision. No. I had to give you a whole lot for me to show you about me. That's right. And, and use similitudes. Spell it. S I M I L I T U D E S. Similitudes. Wait a minute. Similitudes. Similitudes. 
their similitudes, plural, yes. and their similitude, singular. That's right. Let me show you similitude, singular. Fifth chapter of the book of Romans. That's right. I want to show you the difference between each word. One is pluralized and one is not. Fifth chapter of the book of Romans. Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses. Even over them that had not sinned. Give chapter and verse. In Romans chapter 5 and we're at verse 14. All right. Nevertheless. Never. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God the less. Death reigned from Adam to Moses. Death reigned from Adam to Moses. Even over them that had not sinned. What? After the similitude. Spell it. S-I-M-I-L-I-T-U-D-E. Oh. One image. One image. One form. After the similitude of Adam transgression, who is the figure of him that was to come? Of him that was to come. So Adam was made in the image or in the similitude of the Son of Man that would come. That's right. But now here you got God showing shapes, shapes, forms. That's right. Fashions. Go back to Hosea, son. Back in Hosea. Are you getting this? Back in Hosea chapter twelve and at verse ten. All right. I have also spoken by the prophet. God say I also spoken by the prophet. And I have multiplied visions. I have multiplied visions. I showed you a lot of things. And you similitudes. I use shapes, but forms, mm -hmm. fashion. How did I bring it to pass? By the ministry of the prophet. Look at him showing himself to Moses as a burning bush. bush. Huh? That's right. Hey Amen. That's a burning bush. That's right. Look at him describing himself when Jesus, the son of man, was walking here on this preaching about the spirit. Call him the husband man. That's right. One prophet saw him and said, my little finger shall be thicker than my father loins. He said, I saw a piece of cloud coming up as a man's hand. Similar to appear as a man's hand writing on the wall. And Daniel stay. That's right. Shapes. That's right. Forms. That's right. Fashion. Mm -hmm. Show the image of the Son of God standing down there along with the three Hebrew boys, Hebrew boys, and the Son of God wasn't even begotten yet. That's right. Similitudes. That's right. Appeared under Ezekiel yeah. as a beast yeah. with four faces oh, yeah. on each side. Ezekiel said, I saw a whirlwind coming out of the north and a fire enfolding itself. Then I saw four beasts. Yeah. One had the face of a man, one had the face of an ox, one had the face of a lion. One had the face of an eagle. Shapes, Shapes. forms, mm -hmm. similitudes. similitudes. Face of a man will show you how that body will have favor with God and man. Mm -hmm. Face of an ox show you how he would be a sacrifice. Face of a lion show you the power that was in that body. Right. Face, thank God, of an eagle. The Bible said the eyes of the Lord run to and fro in all the earth. All the earth. I have also spoken by the prophets. I spoken by the prophets. By the prophets, I come to Manoah and his wife. And first they said it was a man. Then they said it was an angel. Then they concluded it was God. That's right. Similar to. I have also spoken I by appeared, the prophets. Thank God the day that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord in his train filled the temple. Similar to. That's right. In the days of Moses and Aaron and Abihu and Nadab and the sons of Aaron and the 70 nobles said, I saw the Lord sitting on the throne with the liking of a paved sapphire stone That's under true. his feet That's using true. similar to. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah, glory. Yeah. I have also Shapes. spoken by the prophets. Songs. That's right. Fashions. That's right. By the ministry of the prophets. Of the prophets. And I have multiplied visions. I gave them a whole lot of visions. And use similitudes. And use similitudes. And use images. By the ministry. And forms. By the service. Of the prophets. That was rendered by the prophets. That's right. But it That's was right. the same Lord. Same God. Huh? That's right. Same, same Lord. Same. So you that says three persons. You liar. That's a lie. That's a lie. Three functions, yes. Mm -hmm. Three operations, yes. Right. And you can't narrow them down to three operations. No, no, no. Diversities. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. No, no, you can't do that. There's many functions. Oh, yeah. To the one true holy God. That's right. You get what I'm telling you. That's right. What did the Holy Ghost say? Back in 1 Corinthians 12. Everybody all right? Yeah. Listen. Back in 1 Corinthians 12 and verse 6. So all of you that being taught the Trinity lie that there are three persons. There is no Bible that said at any time 
that there are three persons in heaven. No. There is no Bible and no time. No time. If it didn't say it's three, you know that your over witnesses lied when they said it was two. That's right. That's right. If you believe in more than one God, ye are bell servants. That's right. That's Go right. back to the book of Kings. Everybody all right? Kings. Yes. Go yeah. back to Kings. Back in 1 Kings chapter 18. Brother Elijah was dealing with 850 prophets. That's right. 450 servants yes. of Baal, Baal. And 400, 400 of those that wish up the grove. That's right. The images and handmade idols. 850 men. That's right. Up against one man. That's right. And First Kings that 18. That show you how strong God is. That's right. All right. First Kings 18 and we're at verse 21. Now, hold that. Mm -hmm. You that says, mm -hmm. Jehovah Witness, yeah. that is two gods. Yeah. Seven chapter of Acts. Of Acts, that's right. Yeah. Get at verse 55. Amen. Amen. Because the two God teaching was here before I was born. Yeah. Before I was born. It was, yeah. I got brothers here, 70 years old, 80 years old. It was here before they were born. Yeah. It's not a new teaching. It's an old recycled lie. That's right. Hey Amen. The devil set that stuff out on the curve and the devil picked it up and recycled it. <laughs> That's right. Yeah? That's right. And that's what the devil is doing now, recycling and declaring there's two gods. No, it's not. No, it's not. The Bible plainly says here, in fact, Jesus, yeah. there one man responds to Jesus. Well, master, mm -hmm. thou have said the truth. Said the truth. There is but one God. That's right. And none other. But he. Do you hear this? Now in the book of St. Mark chapter 12. Follow me. We'll start at verse 29. Follow me. Mark chapter 12 and at verse 29. Follow me. And Jesus answered him. Jesus answered him. The first of all the commandments is hear, O Israel. The first. The first. And then I want Corinthians. Let us see who is one God toward. That's right. Because I believe to us. Mm -hmm. It's one God, you know, to right. us. That's right. Hallelujah to God. Right. All right. St. Mark chapter 12, we're at verse 29. Hallelujah. And Jesus answered him, the first of all and the you commandments. you that's on internet, giving the dumb, a thumbs down, it don't move us. It's still one God. It's still one God. It's still one God. Right. Listen, when you give, when, listen, let me give you some knowledge. When you give a thumbs down, God is down there too. The Bible said, if I lay my bed in hell, God is, there. God is there. So when you put your thumb, when you put your thumb down, I agree with you. God is down there too. That's right. If you go that way, God is right there too. That's right. If you go that way, God is there too. Yeah. Glory to God. That's right. Hallelujah. Can't get away from it. That's right. What did he say? Mark chapter 12 and at verse 29. All right. And Jesus answered him. Jesus answered The first of all the commandments the first is. First of all the commandments is. Hear, O Israel. Hear, O Israel. The Lord our God is one the Lord. The Lord our God is two Lords. The Lord our God is one Lord. Two Lords. One Lord. Two Lords. One Lord. We sang it. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. That's right. Tell it everywhere we go. <laughs> That's right. No matter where, just tell it everywhere. Everywhere. Uh -huh. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart. All thine heart. And with all thy soul. Yes. And with all thy mind and with all thy strength. Yes. This is the first commandment. Uh -huh. And the second is like, namely this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Yes. There is none other commandment greater than these. Uh -huh. And the scribe said unto him. What did the scribe say? Well, master. Hallelujah. Well, master, thou hast said the truth. Anything opposite from this, you know it's a lie. Yeah. For there is one God. Wait a minute. Yeah. There is one God. And there is none other but he. What is that statement called? And the scribe said unto What is him, that statement called? Thou hast said the truth. What is that statement called? Thou hast said the truth. And what was the statement? There is, for there is one God, and there is none other but he. And what is that statement called? The truth. And what, what is that statement? For there is one God, and there is none other but he. And what is that statement called? The truth. And what is that statement? For there is one God, and there is none other but he. The truth. Is that the truth, church? Come back to me. How many healers do we have? One. One. How one many God. give you the Holy Ghost? One. How many we pray to? One. How many we sing about? One. How many churches did he start? One. How many gods in heaven? One.
How many creators? One. How many alphas? One. How many omegas? One. Who's the beginning? One. Who's the ending? One. Who's the first? One. Who's the last? One. Who's the God of Abraham? One. The God of Isaac? One. The God of Jacob? One. The God of Israel? One God. The God that made the world. The God of creation. One God. How many? One God. Let the world hear it. One. Let the world hear it. One. Let the world hear it. One. Hallelujah. One God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. <laughs> One God. One Lord. One God. One faith. One faith. One baptism. One. One. What did the Bible say? Well, Master, thou hast said the truth. Well, Master, thou hast said the truth. You told the truth. For there is one God. There is one God. One God. And there is none other. There is none other. But He. None other. None other. Give me the seventh chapter of Acts. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Acts chapter Hallelujah. seven. Hallelujah to God on high. Acts chapter seven and at verse Acts 55. chapter seven. Begin at verse fifty-five. Acts chapter seven and verse fifty-five. But this is where the Jehovah Witnesses go to mm -hmm. to justify two gods. That's right. That's right. Listen. Acts, Acts 7 and verse 55. Follow me. But he being full of the Holy Ghost. Now, when you have the Holy Ghost, you won't see two. Holy Ghost will never show you anything that contradict what he said. That's right. I believe it was John talked about having your eyes anointed with eye sacks. That's right. And once the eye sacks, the dropping of the spirit get in your eyes. Go ahead. You all that three are clear up. Oh, yeah. And you will see one all the time. That's right. What is that? But he being full of the Holy Ghost. Full of the Holy Ghost. Looked up steadfastly into heaven. And here you liars can't even see the next room. That's right. You can't even look at, you can't even see the next room and you see two and three. That's right. Here's a man in the spirit, looked steadfastly into heaven. Into heaven. And? And saw the glory of God. And saw God's glory. And Jesus standing on the right hand of God. Listen at that. Amen. When you're colonel and use logic right away, you will say, you see what right hand is? Right hand. I don't need no revelation to understand that. That's right. The brother's on my right hand. That's right. He's one. Mm -hmm. I'm two. Yeah. That's what they say. Logic. Logic. Now you got to make the Bible harmonize because now you say Jesus is a God standing with a God. Right. And the one God says, there is no, no God, God with, with me. me. With so me. I'm going to believe what he said. Right. Because he ought to know who's with him. That's right. And he ought to know who's not with him. That's right. That's right. right hand standing on the right, right hand, hand of God did not mean and it never meant that Jesus was standing on the right hand of another. Of another, that's right. How can Jesus stand on the right hand of another mm -hmm. if there's only one God, one God and if Jesus is he? Is he. So what do right hand mean? In Exodus chapter 15. Exodus chapter 15. And at verse 6. Thy right hand, O Lord. Wait a minute. Glory to God. You got Elohim working again. That's right. Function of God. That's right. Thine right hand, O God. Thy right hand, O Lord, is become glorious in power. It's become glorious in power. Thy right hand, O Lord. Thy right hand, O Lord. Hath dashed in pieces the enemy. Have dashed to pieces the enemy. The enemy. Right hand mean power. power. Right hand mean majesty. That's right. Right hand mean authority. That's right. 
That, but he being full of the Amen. Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Glory to God, full of the Holy Ghost. Looked up steadfastly, looked steadfastly, into, steadfastly into, heaven, into heaven. And saw the glory of God. And saw the glory of God. And Jesus and standing Jesus on the right standing hand of God. Standing on the right hand of God. And said, Behold, I see the heavens open. I see the heavens open. And the Son of Man standing on the right hand of God. You, you see that? An old fool said, You got the Son of Man standing mm -hmm. right next to God. <laughs> right. That's a blind bat. That's right. Huh? See, that's, that's Baal prophets. Not at no time did Stephen say he saw more than one God. No, no, never. And we're going to keep reading and prove it. That's right. Listen. And said, behold, I see the heavens open and the son of man standing on the right hand of God. Then what? Then they cried out with a loud voice and stopped their ears and ran upon him with one accord. Yes. And cast him out of the city and stoned him. Uh -huh. And the witnesses laid down their clothes at a young man's feet. By the name, name of Saul. Saul. Uh -huh. And they stoned Stephen. Skip chapter and verse. Now in Acts chapter 7, I'm at verse 59. This is after the Holy Ghost made Stephen or Stephen said, right. I saw Jesus standing on the right hand of God. That's right. And then the Holy Ghost went and worked in Stephen and opened up and made it plain to the world that will come after this scripture is written so they can know who Stephen was looking at all the time. Acts chapter 7 and verse 59. Says what? And they stoned Stephen. They stoned Stephen. Calling upon God. Calling upon G-O-D-S. Calling upon G-O-D. Calling upon G-O-D. If Jesus was standing next to God like you think this means, right. why wouldn't you call Jesus? <laughs> and they stoned Stephen calling upon God. Why, did, why wouldn't he just call Jesus? And, right. You know, and tell Jesus like William said, I don't want to talk. To you, I want to talk to your father. That's right. William That's right. used to be a plural God man. That's right. Huh? That's right. I mean, even my cameraman, John, he used to be a plural God man. He was a Catholic. That's right. He can identify with them pictures and bring back memories. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What did he say, son? And they stoned Stephen calling upon God. They stoned Stephen calling upon God. And what did he say? And saying, Lord Jesus. Who did he call on? Lord calling upon God. He called on who? Calling upon God. By what name? Lord Jesus. He called on who? Calling upon God. By what name? Lord Jesus. He called on who? Calling upon God. By what name? Lord Jesus. How many he called on? Call upon God. G-O-D. But wait a minute. God. Jesus was on the right hand right. of God, but how many he called on? Calling upon God, G-O-D. And said what? And saying, Lord Jesus. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. When you call on Jesus, you're calling on God. Calling on God. You're calling him by name. That's right. Lord Jesus, you're calling him Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus because that's telling you God is above all other gods Hallelujah. and his name got the saving power. That's right. That's right. That's right. Calling upon God. And Remember, saying, Amen. Baal prophets, Amen. Elijah said, Amen. call Upon, upon your gods. That's in verse. Now in 1 Kings 18 and verse 24. All of you that got two. All of you that got three, four, Hallelujah. five. I'm saying like my brother the prophet. That's right. You call upon your gods. And, and call ye on the name of your gods. You call on the name of your gods. And, and, I, and I will call on the name of the Lord. I believe the eighth chapter of the book of Corinthians. Yes. And then the fourth chapter of the book of Revelation. Amen. Amen. You got to move because I'm ready to quit. And First I'm Corinthians. trying to quit. But thank Sorry. God the thing is just moved. Hallelujah. Huh? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, son. First Corinthians here. chapter 8 and at verse 6. All right. But to us, to us, there is but one God. But to us, God's people. That's right. To us, to God's people, there is but one God. To us, to us. So don't be amazed when someone preach 2, 3, 4, and 5. I'm going to show you why they do that. But yeah, to, I, I'm going to show you why they do that. That's right. To us, there is one God. The Father. The Father. Of whom are all things. Of whom are all things. And we in him. We in him. And one Lord Jesus Christ. And. and hey, look at here. And. Let that and, and. And. And one Lord Jesus Christ. One Lord Jesus Christ. By whom are all things. By whom are all things. And we by him. We by him. Hold I, it. Mm -hmm. By the spirit, we in him. And what else did he say? 
And we buy him. And by the Son of Man, we buy him. That's right. Now let's break that down. That's right. By the Spirit, we in him. Why? You're baptized by one spirit, spirit. into one body. That's right. In him. By the Son, you buy him by because him. when he offered up that body and shed blood, you have to get that blood and water through baptism. You're baptized by his name. Right. That's right. That's right. We're in him. In him. We're by him. By him. We're from him. That's right. We're through him. Right. We're right. of him. That's right. But to us there is but one God. One God. The Father. The Father. Of whom are all of things. Of whom is everything. And we in him. We are in him. And one Lord Jesus Christ. One Lord Christ, Jesus Christ. By whom are all things. I dare you to tell me Jesus is the second person in the Godhead. I make you find it. Find it. I make you find, find it. it. I dare you to tell me that the, where Jesus is a God. Yeah. Right. I make you find it where the Bible address him as a God. A, that's right. I make you lick that a God up. God knows. That's right. What he said. But to us there is but one God. What is it? The Father of whom are all things. And, and we in him. Uh -huh. And one Lord Jesus Christ by whom are all things. Uh -huh. And we by him. What's the condition of the people? How be it? There how, is. How be it? There is not, every, not in every man that knowledge. Amen. What did the Bible say? How be it? There is not in every man that knowledge. There, there's not in every man. Not in every man that knowledge. If the Bible said that knowledge is not in every man, right. then everybody can see. That's right. Jesus said, blessed are your eyes. Hallelujah. For they see. They see. They Jesus see. said, many kings, many prophets. Then another place he said, many righteous men right. desire to see those things that you now you see. see. And haven't seen them. Haven't seen them. Desire to hear those things that you now hear. That's right. And have not heard. Them. Haven't heard them. But unto us. That's right. But unto us there is but one God. One God. Revelation. Quickly. Revelation chapter 4. We're starting at verse 1. Yes. After this I looked and behold a door was opened in heaven. That means God manifests something. That's right. Yes. A door was opened in heaven to mean Jesus manifests himself. That's right. Because Jesus said, I am the door. Mm -hmm. And when you open the door, you want something to be seen on the other side. That's right. Huh? That's right. All right. And the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me. Yeah. Which said, come up here. Come up here. Then. And I will show thee things which must be hereafter. I will show you things that must be hereafter. And immediately. What happened? I was in the spirit. Huh? Immediately. You got to be in the spirit. That's right. Eh? That's right. When you're in the spirit like Stephen, you'll see one. Oh, yeah. All of the prophets saw one. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. And immediately I was in the spirit. Uh -huh. And behold, a throne was set in heaven. And one, one sat on the throne. It was two up there. What they doing? Sharing the throne? <laughs> Amen. One sat. Is Jesus sitting on the lap of God? My Lord. How long is Jesus going to stand next to God? Is he getting tired? <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. You're so foolish and hell deserving. Amen. What did he say? And immediately I was in the spirit. What? And behold, a throne was set in heaven. A throne was in heaven. And one sat what? on the throne. Set on the throne. And he that sat. They that sat. He that sat. We that sat. He that sat. He that sat was looked upon. Like a jasper and a sardine stone. And there was a rainbow. Round about the throne. Then what? In sight like unto an emerald. Uh -huh. And round about the throne were four and twenty seats. Around about the throne was four and twenty seats. And upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting. Sitting, clothed. In white raiment. And the head on their head. Crowns of gold. Hold it. Yeah. Amen. Twelve plus twelve is what? Twenty-four. 24 elders represent the Old Testament and the New Testament. You had 12 tribes of Israel. You had 12 apostles. They was arrayed in white robes white and they had on their head crowns of gold. Yeah. And letting you know that the prophets and the apostles was anointed by the self same spirit. Right. Until Paul said, I told you no other thing but what Moses and the prophets said should come. So the 24 elders around the throne represent the Old Testament and the New Testament. How the prophets and the apostles was expired by God himself. And out of the throne, out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices. And, and there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne. The seven lamps of fire are the seven spirits of God. Uh -huh. Which are the seven spirits of God. Yes. And before the throne there was a sea of glass like unto crystal. And what? And in the midst of the throne and round about the throne were four beasts. I saw what? Four beasts. I saw four beasts. I saw the attributes of God. Full of eyes. Full of eyes. Before and behind. Wait a minute. The eyes are before and behind. You mm -hmm. got to have foresight and insight. That's right. 
That's what got to be in the preacher. That's right. He got to have foresight and insight. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And the first beast was like a lion. Like a lion. The Bible said, Judah, thou art he. Whom your brethren go and pray, thine hand shall be in the neck of thine enemy, thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Judah is a lion's whip from the prey, my son. You're going up, you stoop down as a lion, as an old lion who shall rise him up. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a law given from between his feet until Shiloh come. Unto him shall the gather of the people be. He looked at Judah and said, Your couch as a lion, and as an old lion, who shall rise him up? So the face of a lion show you the power of God or the authority of God. And the second beast. Second beast. Like a calf. Like a calf showing you as a sacrifice. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the third beast. Third beast. Had a face as a man. Face of a man letting you know that he's going to leave exam an example, a pattern of good works. And the fourth beast. And the fourth beast. Was like a flying eagle. Like a flying eagle. He's high. He's a highly exalted God. That's right. He's a highly exalted God. That's right. All right. And the four beasts had each of them six wings. Six eight, eight, wings. Eight about them. About them. And they were full of eyes full within. Full of eyes within. And they rest not day and night saying. Saying. Holy. 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 Lord God Almighty. What? Which was. No, 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 no. Well, you wait you miss something. Yeah, I did. Yes, I did. You must miss something. <laughs> Must have missed something. You must miss something. I must have missed something. I mean, what's the matter with you? Something, 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 something must be wrong. Something, something is wrong. Something went wrong. Do you read that again? Give, give chapter and verse. Revelation chapter 4, we're at verse 8. Says what? And the four beasts had each of them six wings about him. Yes. And they were full of eyes within. Uh -huh. And they rest not day and night. And what did it say? Saying, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. God in three persons, blessed trinity. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. What else did it say? Which was and is and is to come. No, 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 no. Amen. No. Holy, holy, holy Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. No, holy, holy, holy Lord God Almighty, blessed Trinity. Holy, holy, holy Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. Amen. You liars. You li lied. All of you that says there are three persons. Amen. You lied. You lied. You were tricked. You were conned. Yeah. All those pictures. Yes. Show them pictures that I'm talking about for me, John. All those pictures. Pictures. Are lies. That's right. That old fellow with gray hair and a white beard. Right. That's not God. No. That little pudgy, ugly baby. Yeah. That ain't Jesus. That's right. And that bird. That's right. That ain't the Holy Ghost. We ought not to think that the Godhead. Give chapter and verse. In the book of Acts chapter 17, we're at verse 29. Listen and follow me. For as much then as we are the offspring of God. We are the offspring of God. We ought not to think that the Godhead. We ought not to think. That the Godhead, that the Godhead is like unto gold, like unto gold, or silver, or silver, or stone, or stone, graven by art, grave what? Graven by art, graven by art, and man's device, and man device, and the times of this ignorance, in the time when you was that stupid, that ignorant, that yeah. dumb, God winked at, He had mercy on you, but now, glory to God, hallelujah. but now, commandeth all men, He command all men everywhere to do what? To repent. Then Peter said unto them, said no. unto them, repent, hallelujah, hallelujah, repent and be baptized, and be baptized, every one of you, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, All right. for the remission of sin, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, you got this to do, that's right, all of you that been taught there's three persons, leave your church, that's right, your preachers that preach it, leave them, that's right, if they teach there's more than one God, right. I don't care who they are, leave that church. That's it. Walk out. Walk out. Leave it. Leave them. Leave your position. Yeah. Save yourself. Save yourself. Anybody want to obey the word of God tonight and be baptized in water, Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus Christ, stand on your feet. Hallelujah. If you want to be baptized. <laughs> Hallelujah. Wonderful. Hallelujah. All of you that are standing, all of you that are standing, go to the back. All of you that are standing, you see where they're standing back there, go to the back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Who went? Hallelujah. All right. Tony Harvin.
He loved this program. Thank God. He, he, he fills this program up on his website and points the people to the truth of God.